Yes, the Museum of Pseudoscience and Quasi-Natural History. As we walk through this exhibit, we'll go over the microscopic and macroscopic features of bones, as well as the connective tissues associated with them. I promise this will all be more accurate than the actual museum exhibits. Let's start with a little bit about the chemical composition of bone. About one-third of bone is organic material. Essentially, that means proteins. This worker noshing on a high-protein chicken leg should help you remember protein. And since proteins in the form of collagen make up the bulk of the bone matrix, the tree behind him has a collagen-like triple helix trunk. Now, the other two-thirds of bone is made of carbon-free inorganic materials. This hydrate and appetize snack stand doesn't just serve up tasty treats. It should also help you remember hydroxyapatite crystals, the hard mineral portion of the bone matrix. Water also contributes to the inorganic portion. Hydroxyapatite crystals are mostly calcium, with some phosphate and hydroxide mixed in. That's why this stand sells calcium ice cream and pea-shaped pretzels, and uses a hydroxide cleaner for sanitizing. At least, I hope that's what the cleaner is for? <laughs>